Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up timer functions to turn an LED light on and off. I'll be setting up an on timer, an off timer, an on plus off timer, and an off timer with a reset button. In Mapware 7000, I will be using an HMC 4000 series, specifically an HMC 4070. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here is create some tags. Go to the tags folder, hit add tag, and the first one you'll create will be button one. Register type will be a bool. Hit add. Next will be button two. Same thing. Register type will be a bool. Three. Four. And now you want to create some tags for the LED lights. So same thing. LED. We'll call this LED one. Register type will be a bool. Two, three, and four. Next, we want to create a reset button. So we'll call it reset. And this will also be a bool. Hit add. And the last tag I'm going to add is going to be a reset timer. So register type, we'll choose time, initial value. I'm going to enter 5,000, which is 5,000 milliseconds or five seconds. And this tag is just for visualization. It's going to display a count from zero to five seconds. This isn't a necessary tag. If I didn't add it, the timer would still count to five seconds. And I will explain this a little later on. So just hit add. Next, you will create a logic block. So first, let's go to the logic blocks folder, then main. Under block one, we can rename this and call it timer functions. So first we'll need to insert a new rung. And so go to insert new rung. And here we will go over to the right and under the timers folder, we will select TON or on timer, drag it over to rung one. And for the input coil here, we will use that first tag we created, which was button one. And let's name this on timer. For the preset time, which is also your target time, we will enter 5,000 milliseconds. And you do not need to enter he anything here in the elapsed time. The elapsed time is also your time register. So for the output, where the output coil is, we will put LED1, which was a tag we created earlier. Next will be the TOF or off timer. So let's insert a new rung. And over to the right, I'm gonna grab the TOF off timer, drag it over. And let's call this off timer. And the input coil will be button two. And the preset time will also be 5,000 milliseconds. And once again, you do not need to enter anything into the elapsed time, which is also the time register. And for the output coil will be LED2. And the third timer we will create will be a TON plus TOF. So first let's insert a new rung. Go over to the right, grab TON, drag it over, grab TOF, and place it here. And let's name these. Let's name the first one on timer 
two. And let's name this off timer two. For the input coil will be button three. For the preset time will be 5,000 milliseconds. For the off timer two preset time, we will also enter 5,000 milliseconds. And for the output coil, we'll put LED three. And the last rung we'll create here will be the off timer with reset. So insert new rung over to the right. We're going to grab TOFR, off timer with reset. And here will be button four. Let's name this off timer with reset. For the preset time, once again, will be 5,000 milliseconds. And for the reset, we'll use that reset bool that we created earlier on. For the elapsed time, for the off timer with reset, we're gonna enter that reset timer tag we created earlier on. And again, this is just a visualization to show a timer going from zero to five seconds. And for the output here, we'll use LED four. And in a little while, we'll be creating the base screen for the user interface. I will explain more on this of what it will look like when we see the timer go from zero to five seconds. Now let's make sure that this compiles correctly. Go up to the compile button. And in the compile window, you can see that there are no errors detected and it's working properly. You will now create a base screen, which will be your user interface. You do that by going over to the left uh, under base screens. Here I've created a base screen and I've called it timers. You do that by simply right clicking on base screen, new base screen and naming it timers. I've added some multilingual text here. So here, just like we've done in our logic, I have four different timers, on timer, off timer, on timer plus off timer, and an off timer with the reset button. I've also put some text here to describe what it does. First, after I've added some multilingual text, I added some toggle bits, which are the bools we created, button one, two, three, and four. So over on the right, toggle bit properties, I've chosen feedback tag on. So the feedback tag will be button one, which is that bool we created. And the tag will also be button one. And as far as the way it looks, I've made this look gradient. The next thing I created were, were some bit lamps, which are the LED lights. So LED one, two, three, and four. But for this, I'm going to use some custom pictures. And in order to do that, under style, you would choose user define images. So for all of these, you can just choose user define images. And so for LED one, so we'll change this tag name to LED one. And we'll change this one to two. And this one is three. And LED four. Now for the picture, go to file name off and this will choose a custom picture from my PC. These pictures are not available by default in Mapware 7000. These are custom pictures that I have uh, from a file on my PC. So click the three ellipses there. These pictures are located 
in the Maple Systems and Mapware 7000 folder under Images. So for file name off, I'm going to use a black LED. And for file name on, I'm going to use green for LED one. So for LED two, same thing for file name off, I will use the black LED. And for file name on, I'm going to use a blue LED for LED two. For the on timer plus off timer, will be the same thing, black LED. And then for this one, I'll use red for LED three. Just to give you the idea of what to do here, off, black, on will be yellow for LED four. Now for the reset button, I created a momentary bit. To do that, you would go to draw, buttons, bit action, and choose momentary bit instead of toggle bit. And for the tag name, I chose the reset bool. And the last thing you'll have to build here will be a numeric display for the reset timer that we created as a tag, as well as in our logic. So in order to do that, go up to draw, display objects, data display, numeric display, place that here. And for a tag name, we'll go ahead and grab the reset timer tag. Uh, for the format, let's go ahead and change this to three digits after decimal point. Number of digits will be five. And let's make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. Make it a 14 bold. The time register tag that we created is not necessary. It will still count from zero to five seconds. You just would not see it here. So when you hit off, it'll still count from zero to five and then turn off after five seconds. This just shows that count from zero to five. And the reset button here, the momentary bit that we created, will just turn the timer off. So if the timer is counting from zero to five seconds and you hit the reset button, it will turn it off and you'll see the timer go back to zero here. Now you're ready to download and go online. So go up to mode, go online with download. And if you are downloading for the first time, make sure you have firmware checked off. In this case, I've already downloaded once, so I'm just gonna have application checked off. Hit download. And it may take a few seconds for the HMC device to load the application. Once it does, it will say run in the compile window and you know it's running properly. Right now I have VNC viewer open and I am viewing the HMC device. So let's test this now that we're online. So let's first test the on timer. One, two, three, four, five. And it turns the LED light on. Let's turn it off. Let's test the off timer. Turn it on, turns on immediately. Let's turn it off. One, two, three, four, five. Turns off. Let's test the on timer plus off timer. Turn it on. One, two, three, four, five, turns on, turn it off. One, two, three, four, five, and it turns off. Off timer with reset, turn it on, turns on immediately, turn it off. The timer counts up to five seconds. 
and that works and that turns off. Now let's turn it on again and then off and let's hit the reset button and it turns the timer off immediately and the LED light turns off. This concludes the video. To get more information, please visit the Timer Functions tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Thank you for watching.